so guys like we all know that protest is the only language that african leaders understand so as a result of what happened in kenya recently some of their politicians are having a rethink guess what this politician has come out to you know admit to the corruption that exists among the politicians he has even gone ahead to tender his resignation he has apologized to his people and has promised to return all the loot you know and all the stolen money the bribes they took or he took and guess what this is one of the results of the revolution that has been going on in kenya i'm going to let you watch this video for yourself so that you are going to understand that honestly there is a whole lot of corruption among african leaders so if this can be happening in kenya you can imagine what is happening in the nigerian uh, uh leadership and political parties especially those of them in governance i wish people like akba build them tinubu them and all of them they are going to see this video to see what leadership is all about taking responsibility so this man has come out to see yes he himself he is one of the problem of kenya and he has come out to you know apologize has tendered his resignation and has also promised to return the loot and all the stolen money the bribe he took oh my god nigerians this is just for you to understand that leadership in africa is rotten no wonder we are backward and i tell you by the time nigerians protest against this government a whole lot of you know good results will be yielded let me allow you to take a look at what this man said take a look good evening the people of kenya the constitution of kenya of 2010 article 1 sub article 1 says all sovereign power belongs to the people and shall only be exercised in accordance with the constitution Today, I tender my resignation as a cabinet secretary in the government of Kenya. I want to offer my heartfelt apology to the people of Kenya for the greed, high-handedness, selfishness, arrogance, nepotism, tribalism, and all the bad things that we have done to you in the last two years. When we came to power, we called ourselves shareholders and decided that most Kenyans are not part of the government, are no longer part of the state, and do not have any human rights. We went ahead and received bribes from all over the world and especially from Dubai. We bought very expensive watches, some as expensive as one million Kenya shillings equivalent in dollars. We bought belts worth 50,000 shillings and we made sure that citizens know how expensive we have become. In a country where poor families cannot pay their children's school fees, we were wallowing in luxury. I want to sincerely apologize. And I want to say today that I am ready to give out all the bribes that I've received for the last two years, all the properties that I have now, which can be traced back to the bribes that I received, will be surrendered to the state tomorrow, early in the morning. Should I get a chance to serve the people of Kenya again, I will stop the greed, I will stop the arrogance. But most importantly, I will be accountable to the people of Kenya. To the police high command, the inspector general, who also tendered his resignation, I want to urge him to take Kenyans to all the graves where the bodies are hidden. It is time 
for accountability. Thank you, dear Kenyans. I mean, Nigerians are not happy. Nigerians are angry. The leadership of Tinubu has thrown so many people into poverty. I'm going to let you watch this video just for you to see the, the level of annoyance among the Nigerian people. Honestly, Nigerians are very sad. And I'm just hopeful that this protest is going to go a long way to yield some good and positive results for the future of this country. Take a look. Now, we do the way for now, the way they go say fight, they don't have to make everybody cook, cook, kill ourselves, go the big man, the poor man. Because how good they for this country? Would they come up from money tonight? Nothing come out. Would they come out so they go? I myself, I have my way, my brother, I pick a gun and go for war. You because go for which war you want to go for? Anywhere, if I threw me as a key, if I put a gun, I bomb there. Not to, not to slaughter them. Eh, we know play make them they alive. Now to wipe out those eh, eh, all these eh, illegal Ogoni people, they work for all this eh, Niger, Nigeria. The president you know? himself and the governor. All the politicians, all those big politicians, they should bring them and slay them. <laughs> they should kill all of them. That's how we hold them accountable. We are killing them. Yes, they should bring our money, let them die. Okay. They are of no use to Nigeria. People are saying this Tinubu better pass. Uh, I say nothing. All of them. All of them. They should bring all of them and kill them. They are of no use to Nigeria. Yeah, should take place in Nigeria. You are calling that thing that happened to Ghana, let it happen to Nigeria. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie. You say hunger too much. Mm. Hunger. Come on, Gary. Where first you go carry Gary put for water drink? Gary cost. Gary Low, low cost. He shot everything. Nothing there, no man. So, na bitterness. Na bitterness with the bitter because... You can imagine now, look inside the market now, nobody's selling, nothing. Imagine one cup of garden nice, 300 naira. A cost of garden, where they buy one for 1,000? Nice, 4,000, 5,000 naira. There's nothing to just celebrate now. That's why they're celebrating bitterness, because all the only, all the things went to the Buddha rule, all the things is bitter, bitter. Now you turn out back to uh, uh, Egypt. It's not a guy that's going Israel, they cannot go back to Egypt. Do something else. You cannot control Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger than. Mr. President, if you know Nigeria is bigger than Mr. President, and Mr. President is old, is old enough, is old enough. They cannot control this country. Old age is worrying. Uh, old age is disturbing him a lot. Eh? Look at how can somebody come out in public to address people before you know he fell down and say he's Buga. He called himself a Lagos boy. My grandfather is calling himself a Lagos boy. Is it dude? Please tell him, Mr. President, say we in River State, we are court. We are pleading for him to go and look for something else. Do go and relax himself. Let somebody take over that seat. I'm trying to consider Boy and Tini because Tini is a coward. He's a bastard. The old man is weak. He's weak older than his brain. The brain is shaking. He don't know how to handle the country. He went and picked vampires. People that wicked them. The people that have, the, uh, they are monsters. They are not don't have. They are not having a godly mind in their heart to come and rule. So they are not qualified to be our leaders. All these people are monsters. They are demons. I hate them to with passion. What is the solution now? Make to not be promoted. Yeah, the, the solution is that we brought a person that will revive Nigeria, being Peter Obi. They refuse. Now look at where they're taking us to. Where Nigeria is going, everything is collapsing because Peter Obi was a god sent, and without Peter Obi, Nigeria is going, it's not going to improve. Yeah. Step down, but people say we divide Nigeria. Oh okay, God, even to cut this matter short, eh? The right way to fix it. <laughs> for our village, all here, everywhere. Now would they buy uh, fuel? People say Buari, uh, Tinubu better pass Buari. How? Who talk that? How? How? Who be that mumu? Who know when say Buari go who come back? Who for more they manage Buari? But the best uh, option will be vote to the Lord give us like they prepare us. Okay. Yeah? Just look at Abia State. That they are managing their economy. They are enjoying from the day that uh, Labour Party guy entered. This is moving fine. Go to Abiana. They have walk all the roads. Yeah? Okay. Steady walk. Let's give us your reaction. Go away with the leaders of sin for our system. Nothing come out again. Everything. Don't be called walls. You know if you buy Ogoro we'll again. No. Come on, Ogoro we'll yourself. For take up no them. For uh, for revolution to take place. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, Kenya and Nigeria there's a big difference. Number one, the population of Kenya and Nigeria are not the same. Number two, the the tribal tribalism that is in Kenya and Nigeria is not the same. So uh, if you believe that what is happening in Kenya can work in Nigeria, it is foul. It cannot, it, it cannot happen. And Nigeria, 
is a wedding country that always, whatever condition they see themselves, they are satisfied that condition. They don't try to kill each other. Only so guys, you have seen it for yourself. And when we tell the people that leadership is our biggest challenge, people think we are joking. Guess what? They, one of the ministers, Tinubu's minister, has come out to say that they've given uh, 15 trucks of rice to various states to share among the people. Tell me, how many cups of rice are people going to be getting from this? These people just keep wasting money. They keep wasting. You don't alleviate people's suffering by giving them peanuts. You don't. You don't. Create jobs. Regulate your policies. Make sure you make business-friendly policies. Make sure you end banditry, terrorism. Let there be security. Let there be security in Nigeria so that people can trust our economy and come to, to, to invest. Let the judiciary work for the people. Why is it that this government just keep doing the wrong thing? I mean, why? Why are we here? So, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.